In this video from the Washington State Auditor's Office, we're discussing a performance audit of Washington's Criminal History Records Database. We talked with the audit team, Michael Wynn and Patrick Anderson. Um, based on two audits we had done previously surrounding background checks, we wanted to know whether Washington's Criminal History Record Database was complete, and if not, the reasons why. The local news reported less than a few months ago that a bus driver shuttling senior citizens was arrested for a DUI. He was arrested for the same offense less than a year prior, but still managed to back, pass a background check because of incomplete records. So when employers run background checks on potential applicants, they review criminal history records contained in WASIS. WASIS is the state's criminal history record database. The court's database contains case information of any defendant that goes through the court system. This includes charge information and the eventual verdicts from the case. Um, we compared the verdicts or dispositions to disposition records in WASIS to see if they contain the same records. About a third of the dispositions that were found in the court system were missing from losses. A criminal history record consists of two parts, the arrest and the result of that arrest called the disposition. A disposition is the final result of the charge or the case. The PCN is used to link the disposition found in the court's database to the arrest record maintained by State Patrol in WASIS. Therefore, if either an individual's fingerprints are not taken at the jail, or the PCN is not used when entering disposition in the court's database, the link cannot occur and the record will remain incomplete. So our recommendations focused on ways the State Patrol could work with these entities to improve the reporting process. To read the complete report or for more information on our other work, please visit our website at www.sao.wa.gov.